Chris G here, Positively Progressing. Thank you so much for tuning in and for your continued watching habits. Today, we are going to be discussing musical quotes. Quotes, I don't know about you, but I always find it fun and interesting to hear a familiar melody that's cleverly placed when someone's improvising. Today, I'm going to share some of my favorite musical quotes from legends that I've come across and what I believe to be the greatest quote of all time. Quotes. So as you had heard and saw in the intro, Joel Fromm plays three quotes back to back to back, rat-a-tat-tat style. And that video was brought to you by the one and only Saxo Logic. Thank you, Nathan, for posting such an awesome video. Let's talk about the first quote. That first quote is from Dexter Gordon's Go album, Three O'Clock in the Morning, or any grandfather clock that you've heard in your lifetime. <laughs> Next, we have Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Then, he ends with my favorite, the Indiana Jones theme. brings me back to my childhood. So speaking of Dexter Gordon, Dexter Gordon was a master of quotes. Let's check a couple of them out. So let's start with his album, Our Man in Paris. He plays a tune, Scrapple from the Apple, a bird tune, and he quotes what sounds to me some kind of horse racing quote. Later to find out, it's call to post, which is pretty much what they play at every horse race. <laughs> Now going back to one of my favorite Dexter Gordon albums, which you should all check out, his Go album, he plays a tune called Second Balcony Jump, and he quotes a song called Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. What a master. Now let's check out some Bird quotes. Yes, Bird did do some quoting from time to time. Not only was he creating a bebop language for all of us to try to master, he was also playing quotes on top of that. I think Bird had a pretty good sense of humor. All the quotes that I've heard from him have been so fun to listen to and, and so masterfully placed. This first one is him quoting Jingle Bells while he's playing White Christmas. So he's stacking Christmas on Christmas here. This next one he outdoes himself. He quotes his own tune, Cool Blues. <laughs> while improvising on Yardbird Suite. Genius. Okay, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. The greatest quote of all time. <laughs> Quick shout out to Steve Cortica who told me about this. Think of this as a black American music history lesson. Let's start way back in 1945, where Miles Davis was a teenager playing with Charlie Parker. Now Miles Davis played an iconic solo on Now's the Time, which is a blues. A solo that was really Miles developing his own voice and really playing something that was way ahead of his time and just sounded much different than, than other bebop stuff going on during that time. Here's a little clip of him playing on Now's the Time. Now 
Now let's fast forward 13 years. Now Miles Davis is having solo albums and we're going to Miles Davis's Milestones album. Now they play Thelonious Monk's Straight No Chaser, also a blues. Red Garland is the piano player on this album and Red plays Miles's Now's the Time solo in its entirety. So he plays the entire solo. And I'm not talking about just note for note. He plays this whole solo and harmonizes it all. It's unbelievable. Check this out. I think this is one of the hippest things I've ever heard. So I'm not sure why Red did this. I went down this internet rabbit hole and I couldn't find a real answer. I just found a bunch of people speculating. Either way, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed learning about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all these musical quotes. Because that's it for this week. So if you have some favorite quotes you'd like to share, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you'd like to give me a thumbs up for the video and subscribe, that's cool too. That's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, an awesome week. And just remember, always positive, always progressing. Until next time, later.